Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching All Wrestling, the premier, the premier YouTube show that focuses on NXT, AEW, and many more. So I just got through AEW. Like guys, what I'm telling you, and if you guys are watching this, if you guys are watching my video, like you guys have been watching the my video for the for Revolution, and I hope you guys are paying. I'm hoping you guys you paid attention to everything that that I said. And I was right. The reason why I say I'm right because my predictions came through tonight. The first thing that happened, we had an amazing promo with John Moxley saying that he will fight anyone. And he even lists his guys. He said he even said Kenny Omega. He even said Adam Page. He even said Hang he even said the inner circle. And I knew and the inner circle came out and said that he's a fraud and he cheated. Nah, bro. The inner circle is not done with, with with Chris. They're not done with John Moxley. They can't. They're not done with him yet. And as much as they should have been, they're not. Like yo. Then that happened, and then we had a fantastic match with 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 Jake Hagar and QT Marshall. And Jake Hagar, I'm telling you, like I'm telling you guys, he he, I'm telling you, this man is gonna. He's a, he is a monster. This dude. Choked out J K T um Q T Marshall in a second and he beat him. I'm telling you, man, this guy is and everybody thinks he and everybody in AEW with Jim Ross and, 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 and Excalibur and Tony thought he was going to be beat. Q T Marshall was going to beat this man. How would why would you think he was? He literally almost tried to kill Cody and they had a brawl. They had a massive brawl with Cody and Golda and you know and Dustin Rhodes and the rest of them and the Young Bucks. How you going to fight him? Only man that could probably stand up to him was Hangman, and Hangman had a drink and he got free beer. That's my that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm telling you, this man is not normal. He like he's a monster. I'm telling you. This man is literally gonna rip that man apart. Hangman is maybe the only guy that probably could beat him straight. And I'm telling you, man. And I said this before, and I'm telling you guys like this. And this is what I'm going to hit you with. And you know what? I did love that. And I'm going to talk about the um the Cody promo because there's a lot of things I got I kind of got to talk about, which I'm really surprised. There's a lot of things that surprised me with this promo. This promo was really good. He was talking about how he felt like he really loved, like he let everybody down. And you know what? I don't mind Jake this name coming out. I didn't mind the promo he was doing. I don't mind when he was talking, calling Cody a bitch and telling him that he was a bitch in the morning. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. I really don't. But the thing that kind of got me was the thing when he said about Hail, like, Hail Caesar, I'm here to slay you. And the crazy thing was, was like, he's like, I put the snake and I got in their heads. I was whooping people's asses and I understood that. And the thing was, I think what he was really trying to do, he said he got a client. And like I said, with my Hardy coming into AEW, and it's, it's not just a coincidence. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is not just a coincidence that he, he's coming. It's not just a coincidence. Like, if he's coming, that means another brother's going to show up in AEW. Anybody could show up. And this is the thing. AEW's that, that mark, that pot that everybody thinks that nobody thinks that's not rising. It's rising day by day. And here's the crazy part. Let me be perfectly honest, right? Like, yo... I like Pac. I like I like Pac. I like Pac. I will Pac. I mean Pac. I like him. I do. And the thing is, I like him because I think I. And you know what? And I'm a little kind of dis. Like I'm not disappointed. I'm actually kind of surprised him and the Lucha Brothers are a faction now. They call themselves Death Triangle, which is not a bad name. It's actually a pretty cool ass name. It's not a bad name. See, his thing that gets me. That means that that means Orange Cassidy wants a piece of Pac. That means they're gonna have a fantastic rivalry. And what I mean, guys, is look. What I'm saying to you, everything I was saying to you guys was happening, even with MJF, and he made a promo. And the thing was that when he made his promo, he was talking about John Moxley. He said, I will go through anybody. And he said, I will be the, the longest reigning, the greatest world heavyweight champion who ever lived. And the funny thing was, like, he was talking about, John, like, now he wants, and I said this, guys, like, now... It's not just it's not just Jay Hager that wants the title. It's him, MJF, um, um, uh, uh, Hangman. He wants a shot. Everybody, ever since Mox won, and I said this to you guys, like AEW tonight was on the, the on the paradigm shift and just went into a tailspin. Like, bro, it, it. I'm telling you guys, like 
everybody who who isn't going to want a title shot is not not in it for the long haul. Like, I'm telling you, MJF wants a shot now. And MJF usually doesn't get involved with title shots. He hasn't gotten involved since the Cody thing. But I'm thinking he wants Chris. And the thing is, he said he'd even go through Chris Jericho. And this is the funny part about it. Chris Jericho wants a spot. So Chris Jericho gets a rematch at Blood and Guts. That means MJF is going to get one. That means MJF is going to get a shot at the title. That means he's going to want one. He's going to want a title. Cody's going to want a shot. And I'm pretty sure Cody's going to want one. Because even when he hit, he hinted it. And I'm telling you guys, in, in his promo, if, if you guys, I'm telling you, watch the, like, watch the thing from the, 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 the show from the beginning. He's hinting at it when he said, when I was winning, when I went at the pin, when you win your match, you get more money. So meaning that he wants Mox. He wants him too. That means everybody who, who isn't Parker, Orange Cassidy, wants him. They want that title. And it's so funny. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it's. So funny that they want him because this is the thing. And I said this before with John Moxley. Bear with me, guys. I said this before. I said it when in Revolution that it's going to change. It's going to change AEW in a day. So we got three competitors. Three of the greatest competitors in AEW right now. Three of the greatest. We got Jake Hager, who is a monster right now, who who is going up against everyone. And that dude... I think he's like number four in the rankings. He's 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 racking up wins. He's racking up wins. And I'm sorry, but this dude is gonna end up getting a title shot before him and Chris are gonna end up fighting for that belt. That's what's gonna end up happening. And it's like, yo, and it's not even the fact that Chris is not gonna the thing is Mox ain't gonna drop it willingly. He's gonna have to like they're gonna have to really beat Mox down. And this is the thing. He's getting a shot. That means Chris is going to get a shot. That means Kenny might want to get a shot, too. Because Kenny, and I'm, I'm, the reason why I think the Young Bucks and Hangman are not really working or meshing together right now, because Hangman is trying to walk away from the Elite, and I see why they're walking away from the Elite. I see it now. I didn't see it more with the Revolution, but I see it. Because I think he wants a shot, too. He doesn't just want to be tag team champion. He wants to be world champion and tag team with Kenny. That's why Kenny was like, yo, he wasn't really he wasn't really mad that he wants to do it because the fact is he actually wants a shot. And I'm thinking if he wants it, that means him, that means Joey Janela's gonna want one. And I'm pretty sure Kip Sabian's gonna throw his hat in the ring next week. See, this is what I'm telling you guys, yo. Anybody, and I'm telling you guys, I'm saying this, AEW was really good, guys. It was probably better than NXT. It's setting us up for Blood and Guts, which Blood and Guts is like literally two weeks away this month. And meaning that MJF and Cody are not, like I said, MJF and Cody are not done. And it's not just MJF and Cody I got to worry about. I got to worry about Cody, MJF, Wardlow, and Jake the Snake. You got to worry about that guy. Why I say this? Because he said, in his cryptic way, he said he got a client. That means he's bringing somebody to AEW. Somebody dark. That means not just the exalted one, not just him coming in the mix. It's the guy that that, 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 that Jake the Snake has. Him. This guy. We don't even know who he is. And I, and I got a feeling it's somebody from NXT, somebody from a WWE, somebody. And he's got a guy. And the smart thing is, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sitting here telling you guys, like, yo, AEW gave me a lot of answers and has given me a lot of questions. And I'm telling you guys, and you guys, and thank you guys for, for the support, by the way. And I apologize if this is a long video. It's not going to be too much longer. I'm just reiterating what I'm telling you. Next week, we are going to get the Exalted one. This is just one of my predictions. And you know my predictions have come through a lot. Are the Dark Order is bringing the Exalted One to AEW, meaning that the Exalted One is coming. That means, that means we are gonna see Jake this next guy probably a Blood and Guts not at next week because he's bringing he's bringing the suspense to us. See, there's not a lot of suspense in AEW, but ever since, ever since tonight, ever since when the Exalted One comes up, guess who's going? Guess who comes out the shadows? And I, Jake the Snake, and I know Jake the Snake wasn't just sitting there backstage. He was waiting. 
That dude was waiting for Cody. That dude was waiting. That's why he was talking about Arn Anderson. He probably got a surprise for that dude. He's probably trying to quote him into something. With the Nightmare Family. Something is going Something is going on that's going to affect him. It's going to affect Cody. It's going to affect Gold, um, Dustin, Brandy, the rest of them. Like I said, guys. I'm telling you. They are literally bringing somebody in. And Jake, this is what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't, it's not, it's not weird to me. I, I'm telling you, I'm, t I'm, I'm telling you, because I got a feeling that somebody's going to mess up with somebody. Or like I said, with the, with the Death Triangle coming into play, with Death Triangle being formed, them coming out, Dark Order bringing the Exalted one, them brothers are playing, they're, they're all looking for something. This is what I was saying to you when, when Moxley, when Moxley, and I didn't even think about it now. And just bear with me, guys, because I'm going to tell you my, my synopsis about my um, summary of all this right now, because I'm going to break it down easy for you guys. When Moxley becomes when Moxley becomes champion, when Moxley became champion tonight, when he did his celebration, everything comes to everything is coming full circle. And I mean everything. That means more dudes are coming. A lot of stuff is changing, guys. I'm telling you. It wasn't just a coincidence that Jake the Snake was there. It wasn't just a coincidence that the Dark Order was talking about the Exalted One. It wasn't just a coincidence. It's a dude. Everybody knows. And this is the funny thing. Everybody is trying to get a shot at the title before all or nothing. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, no. Double or nothing. I can tell. Everybody wants a shot. They're giving Mox that thing. They're, they're letting them know. Everybody's making their declaration saying, yo, we want a title shot now. Now that you took over. Now that you got rid of Chris, we want you. That's what it is, guys. I'm telling you. Tonight was really good. And I'm telling you, next week is going to be even better. And I'm telling you, please stay tuned. And please tune into my video. Tune into my channel because I'm telling you. Whatever anybody else is telling you on AEW, I'm telling you the absolute truth because I've been watching it. I'm playing. I've been looking up stuff. I'm telling you. AEW, I'm telling you, guys are coming, bro. This is a prediction, not a spoiler. This is what I'm telling you. Everybody is coming. The inner circle attacking Moxley in the tag team, in the tag team match with Darby Allin wasn't just a coincidence. Jake Hager wait, making, making wins. They got plans for Jake Hager. They got that dude to be dominant. They got that man. That man is an animal. He's not just the muscle. This dude is the brain, man. That means if he can he can take out Chris, he could take over the whole inner circle and nobody would even know. Not even Sammy. And Sammy's the young dude they gotta worry about. They don't gotta worry about Sammy. They gotta worry about Jake Hager. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.